Hello, happy people. I hope you're having just an amazing day today. Today, we're going to take a look at another member of our Cthulhu Mythos uh, short, short stories from the collection Cthulhu 2000. Today, we're taking a look at The Barons by F. Paul Wilson, which is the first short story in here. It's also the second longest short story in here. So it's about it's a little more than 50 pages in this oversized collection. So it took me about an hour and a half for me to knock it out last night for the second time. Uh, it, when I read this collection when I was in college, it was my favorite collection in there. I loved it a lot. I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10 after rereading it. Uh, it's still so good. And I think one of the reasons why I like it so much is because I identify with the setting. It's set in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Um, and it's clear that the person who's writing the short story is either from the Pine Barrens vacations there is a big love for the area because a lot of this short story um, is fleshing out the pine barrens um, and you're gonna you're, it's the entire story is set there uh, and I think they, they do just an incredible and Paul Wilson does an incredibly strong job at bringing out the character and the nature you really feel for the people that live there uh, and you really enjoy it uh, and, I, and I really like that a lot. And as somebody from Southern West Virginia, it really felt like he was, in a lot of ways, it was somebody who was talking about my home. Um, and uh, so I, you know, also poor people, also rural, also, you know, sometimes the rest of the world has names for them, like Redneck, whereas, and their names for them are Piney. Uh, but there's, there's a lot more to the people than the out than the outside world does and they dismiss uh miss dismiss them uh and i i i i think that i really identified if you will uh with this with the locals in this short story in the pine barrens a lot as somebody who's from so much virginia so i thought this was an incredibly strong story f paul wilson as a writer uh, is fine He's suitable. Uh, I'm not going to go to the mattress for his 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 wordsmithery. He's not an Ambrose Bierce. He's not uh, an Algernon Blackwood. Uh, but he's fun. Um, you know, he's he's. I'm, I'm never going to give him a nine or ten out of ten. But this is still my favorite short story from this uh, collection. Although there is a novella in this collection, uh, which I like a little more, uh, which won a Hugo Award. Um, uh, which I've already reviewed for you by Roger Zelazny uh, in last last year's uh, October collection for you all um, uh, for the Cthulhu Mythos that I do every year uh, and this is the third straight month that I've done so uh, this, this short story will open up with a, will be led by a female character and one of her old flames from college and she opens up by shooting her answer machine with her shotgun because of how bad it the message sent her uh, she's an accountant uh, she got a, she got out of the pine barrens um, and it's one of the success stories she went to college uh, and uh, uh, and that sort of a thing and she gets a message from one of her own flames uh, from college uh, that they dated for like a year uh, and you'll find out uh, that just that there's a there's a few different things too that set this short story in the film with us it's not heavily in the mythos uh, one of our characters is from Miskatonic University uh, and went there for college. Uh, one of our characters uh, has uh, the really enjoys the Pikmin series of paintings uh, and wants to put them up during a relationship, but the woman says, nope. <laughs> and that's it. Those are the two references. Uh, Miskatonic U, which is a university set in the Cthulhu Mythos, absolutely, created by H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, the Pikmin is referring to pick me the model, which is not in the Cthulhu Mythos proper. Um, but I have reviewed it for you recently, actually, over the summer a couple months ago, um, for this channel. And uh, in it, uh, it's set in Boston. And in it, uh, there is this guy uh, called Pickman who uh, has uh, this really uh, gross, uh, nasty art. Uh, and you look at some of his paintings and you follow him along. Uh, and journey through his Boston. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, a lot of people think it's one of their favorite horror story stories by H.P. Lovecraft. It's certainly one of his most popular ones. 
outside the Cthulhu Mythos proper. Um, but here it's being brought into the Cthulhu Mythos by Custis by the same guy, which is fine. I don't have any issues with it. Um, so that's also a reference to an H.P. Lovecraft a short story of the Pikmin a series of uh, paintings uh, that he wants to put up in their uh, college dorm. And, and that's it that they shared together off campus. Were, well, it's an apartment. Really. Uh, the two of them here, her, her and her boyfriend. So there are a couple of references, and that's it. It's very light in the Cthulhu Mythos references. This is not a deep, short story. And I think the story is better for it. I have Paul Wilson does a great job here. This is the first short story um, that I've ever read by F. Paul Wilson. It's still to this day the only short story that I've read by F. Paul Wilson. Uh, but it's really good. Uh, it's a really it's really a fun short story. Um, and it remains an incredibly strong 8 out of 10. Uh, so there you are. I like it a lot. Uh, Cthulhu 2000, 8 out of 10. It's a strong 8 out of 10. It's probably more like an 8. 8.2, 8 8.3, 8.4, I'll round it down to an 8 uh, for you. So there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read uh, Out the Barrens by F. Paul Wilson? If so, what do you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my take in any way, shape, or form? I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below, whatever your take is on this horror classic. Uh, if you enjoyed this short story i'm sorry and this 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 video why not hit this subscribe button because there should be a lot more needs to follow in horror like this one on fantasy and science fiction and then finally hey i want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it in watching my video we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions so the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and i appreciate it so thanks again and have a great day